what's up guys it's Kelly and today I've got yet another swatch and review for you so today I am doing my first fall collection of the year I think and that is the OPI Peru collection. This is actually OPI's fall slash winter collection, but they usually also come out with a little holiday release in the winter time. Definitely getting some serious fall vibes here. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think OPI really needs an introduction. I love them. I love their wide flat brushes and they're readily available. I get them from HB Beauty Bar and I do have a 20% off code with them, which I'll write right here somewhere and also in the description. But anyway, let's just jump into the swatches. So as always, I'm going to be using my Cuchio base code underneath all my swatches. I also get this from HB Beauty Bar so I will link it in the description if you guys are interested. So the first shade we have is Machu Picchu which is a really light beige cream with really peachy undertones to it. Now I love wearing nudes in the fall because I just feel like that's just such a fall thing to do but this one definitely feels more peachy to me than nude although I do totally love it. I think it's really nice. Not sure if I would consider it a fall color but totally gonna wear it anyway. This is two coats and it went on pretty nicely. Next we have Somewhere Over the Rainbow Mountains and this is a cream as well. It's a really really light dusty pink shade and this to me definitely screams fall. I love it. I think it looks so nice. I think this is the kind of color that looks good over any skin tone so I really love that. I did get full opacity from Two Coats and as expected from OPI the formula was really nice and self-leveling and really pretty. Next up we have Seven Wonders of OPI and this is a lilac cream that is super light again. This one does have those dusty qualities to it again which makes it feel like a fall shade but it was actually a tiny bit more sheer than I expected it to be. I ended up doing two coats for full opacity but I think if your nails are longer you might get some visible nail line and you might have to throw on a third. That being said, still a really nice color and it's self leveled and it was really beautiful. Next up we have Don't Toot My Flute. You guys know that I am a sucker for these types of colors that are like the sort of periwinkle slash cool toned purple creams. This one is no exception. I was totally in love with this as soon as I put it on my nails. I found that it was a little bit more vibrant on my nails than it actually is in the bottle and I am totally okay with that. I think this is a really gorgeous shade. This definitely to me feels more like a winter color than a fall color because I'm not sure that I'd wear cool toned purples in the fall but I will totally wear this in the winter because it is stunning. Next we have Susie will catch you a later which is a medium almost a little bit dark cool toned pink cream this is the classic opi pinks that they like to throw into each of their collections for those of you who don't like straying towards the crazier colors and this one is really nice it's the classic opi formula it looks super nice on the nail and it's really beautiful but i think i have a ton of shades like this so there's nothing particularly special about it maybe because it's a little bit darker it has more of a wintry vibe to me but overall just your average opi pink next we have lima tell you about this color this is the warmer toned pink cream in the collection and I'm not really sure why this one is in there besides just being another of those OPI classic pinks because this one being really warm toned and being really bright and not dusty or anything it kind of feels to me like a summer color but it is really pretty so if you want to wear this color all year round then you got your new color here. Next we have my solar clock is ticking and this is a really gorgeous shade but I had a harder time capturing it so you can see I kind of pulled the saturation because this is like a dusty burnt red shade. The formula on this one was so good. It was nearly a one coater for me. I ended up throwing on a second, but this color, so gorgeous. I wish I could show you guys what it looked like, but the bottle shot that I had is probably the most accurate color. Next we have I Love You Just Be Cusco, and this is a dark wintry red that almost has a jelly-like feel to it. I have a feeling that this one will stain your cuticles if you aren't careful, so I would be super careful with application on this one. Again, it has that jelly formula, so it doesn't look like it's fully opaque even when it is, and it's super shiny but this is like a gorgeous wintry red shade so very pleased to have yet another OPI winter red in my collection because I can't get enough of them. Huh. Next we have Como Se Llama, which is a darker red similar to the one that I just showed you guys although this one is darker. It has the same sort of jelly like feel to it and I was really nervous about getting this one in my cuticles because this one definitely feels like it will stain as well. I ended up throwing on two coats for full coverage and it's a really beautiful shade. I love this one and definitely gives me some fall winter vibes. 
Next we have Yes My Condor Can Do, and this is probably my favorite in the collection. I'm not 100% sure how to describe it other than to say it's like that Hershey's wrapper color. <laughs> if you guys have ever seen a Hershey's bar, if you're in the US you probably have, but yeah it's like a reddish brownish purple, opaque in two coats, super insanely gorgeous cream. This is the first one I put on when I got this collection and I did not want to take it off. I am in love with it. Next up is Grandma Kissed a Gaucho, which is a cool toned purple cream. In the bottle, this one absolutely had my heart, but as soon as I started applying it, I got so sad. This is like a jelly, super translucent formula, and I was not expecting that. Even on two coats, it just didn't look fully opaque. I would not expect a purple like this to be that jelly formula, so I was really disappointed. If that's what you're looking for, that's cool, but for me, I wanted this to be like one coat full coverage. And last but not least, we have Alpaca My Bags, which is a really gorgeous, dusty blue cream shade. This is just another perfect winter shade to have on hand. If you don't have anything like this, you absolutely need this one. It did appear a little bit sheer on the first coat and I got nervous, but once I threw on that second, I was totally in love with how it looked. If you have long nails, you might need to throw on a third, but this is such a beautiful color. I love it so much. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the swatches. Overall, I'm pretty impressed, but there were a couple that I was a little disappointed in that I had high hopes for. Other than that, really happy with the collection. I do think that it was kind of missing some different finishes and textures, but I think that if OPI comes out with a holiday slash winter collection, they'll probably do lots of really fun different finishes and stuff like that. So that's the kind of stuff that I get really excited for, but I know it's still summer, so maybe I should just hold my horses. But anyway, yeah, I really like this collection. Like I said, available pretty much anywhere you can get OPI. I get mine from HE Beauty Bar and I will link them down in the description below. You can also use the code Kelly to get 20% off on their website. That's also actually where I get my Cuccio base and top coat, which are my fave base and top coats. And I know I've been promising you guys a video on Cuccio for quite a while and I eventually will do one. But I have so many swatches and so many other videos to show you guys, so whatever. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy my swatch reviews. Let me know in the comments below what other types of collections you want to see swatch and reviews for or if you have any other video suggestions and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe because that would be cool and if you are subscribed to my channel you rock all right i'll talk to you guys later bye all right today's fun fact if you guys follow me on instagram you already know this but um this shirt that i'm wearing which maybe i'll like stand up this shirt boom is from my cousin who's like a famous artist and she draws these lips, that's what she's known for. And she just started selling t-shirts and I was pretty excited about it. So I got a few, <laughs> I love them. And they're like in a bunch of different colors and styles and stuff. So if you guys are interested, I'll, I'll put a link to her stuff down below because it's cool. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later.